guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Jackie and in my channel I do all things Dollar Tree and other stores I do Dollar Tree shop with me trips Dollar Tree hauls and lots of DIYs as well and today I'm participating in a DIY clock challenge and it's hosted by the shabby French door and also the Showin's nest and when you're done watching my video if you would please go to my description box and follow the playlist that's listed on there and watch all the other participants that I have created something for this challenge okay so having had said that let's get started with this challenge Okay, so for my first DIY, I'm going to take one of these Dollar Tree Pentagon shaped decor, like tabletop decor pieces, and this one happens to have the rooster on it. And here I'm trying to find the midpoint so I can install or place my parts, my clock parts into it. So I'm going to turn this into a farmhouse rooster clock and it's just going to be decorative it's not going to be functioning at all so here i'm taking my drill and i'm just going to drill a hole and i'm not drilling it all the way through because again this is not going to be functional this is just going to be decorative but i figured how cute to make to turn this into a little clock so here i made a little hole and here are some clock parts that i had that i had from a different clock that's no longer working so as uh, it's not gonna be a problem to take this apart I don't feel sad about it <laughs> this is going to make something pretty instead because it no longer works so here I'm trying to fit it in the hole but my hole is not quite big enough so I've got to work it a little bit more and try to drill it a little bit bigger get that done and so I try to place it in there and now it fits much better but I'm not liking the gold so I'm gonna go in with some chalk paint some white chalk paint and I'm just gonna paint this real quick paint it white and I think the white will look better on these pieces on these clock parts on these hands for the hour the minute and the seconds so I'm just gonna paint them real quick and I'm not even going to be too fussy about it because you're not going to see all the parts because it's not functioning. So like literally I just paint it real quick. So now I'm done. So now I'm going to touch up where I marked the center with my marker. And now I'm going to add a little dab of glue just to keep everything in place so it doesn't fall out. So I push, I push those parts in, I push in the hour and the minutes arms. And now I just need to push in the second, the second arms for the seconds. So I just push that in real quick and that's it. My little rooster clock is done. So cute. So simple yet so cute. Okay. So now DIY number two. Okay, so now here I have this old clock that literally was in my kid's bathroom while they were growing up. <laughs> yes, this little clock is so old and their bathroom was blue. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so the paper inside is kind of yellowy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna work with that because I tried to take this clock apart and it was impossible. So I'm just going to cover the face of the clock with this painter's tape because I'm going to paint the rest of the clock. So I'm taking this Waverly chalk paint in the color Cashew and I'm going to go ahead and paint the perimeter, the outside perimeter of this whole clock. 
the front, the sides, all of it. Well, not the underneath. You're not going to see the underneath. So just the front and the sides with this chalk paint. And I'm going to give it two good coats because I don't want the blue to show. So I'm just paint this real quick. I use a couple different brushes just for my convenience. But yeah, just paint it real quick. And this clock will be a functioning clock to, because it's going back into one of the bathrooms in the house. Okay, so now I'm taking this brain teaser game from the Dollar Tree and it's made out of wood. And so when I saw this little game, I thought, oh my goodness, it's made of wood. I need to do something with this for sure. So I wasn't sure what kind of material was on the inside, so that's why I used my EMT shears. But it was just like a rubber band, like a some kind of a elastic, like a thick elastic. So now here I'm going to kind of put a pattern on how I want them, how I want them to lay on the clock, because I'm going to put these on the perimeter of the clock as well. And these little square beads. They actually have holes in really odd places because of the game, because it's a, it's a brain teaser game. So some holes are on the sides and some blocks have like a hole on, on the underneath and then one on the side. So that's why I'm kind of taking my time to place them in a certain way because I don't want any of the holes to be showing. So that that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> And so here's my clock, nice and dry, paint nice and dry. So I'm just peeling off the painter's tape. And so far I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's looking cute, it's looking a little bit better than that old blue. Not that I'm against anything blue, it's just this clock is just old. So, but this clock is a functioning clock, so yay. <laughs> okay, so here I just begin going for it and just start gluing some of the blocks on there. Just uh, alternating the dark with the natural ones. And when I get to the third or fourth, I realize, wait a minute, what if, what if I get all the way back to the other side and either the pattern is off or worse yet, it doesn't fit or there's a big gap. So then I stop myself right here and I thought, no, let me just place them <laughs> without gluing them and let me see. <laughs> but let me tell you, a big part of me just wanted to go for it. But yeah, I stopped myself because that would have been a disaster. And I'm glad I didn't go for it because when I, when I uh, placed them all on here and I got to the end, sure enough, there was a gap and it, was, it wasn't big enough for another block. And yeah, that would have been kind of a pain. And I also ran out of the little blocks, so I had to go get another brain teaser game, which thankfully I had purchased a few of them because when I saw them in the store and saw that they were wood, I was like, yeah, I need to do something with these for sure. So yeah, so thankfully I had another set. So here I'm just continue to, continuing the pattern and when I get to the very end, you'll see what happens. It's like the gap is not big enough for another block, for another, uh, be like a bead, it's their beads. So it's not big enough. And I thought, oh no, I'm glad I didn't do that. <laughs> so all I had to do was just kind of push a few down and kind of arrange a little bit better and then they, it fit. So, and I wouldn't be able, able to do that if I had hot glued them from the, from the get-go. So, yeah. So, all, the, all I did now is just hot glue them. And I didn't film it just because it's just too tedious. But that's it. He, she's done. And I think they came out super cute. One is just decorative. And the other one is a functioning clock. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I would... Appreciate if you consider subscribing as well. I have lots of DIYs coming up, more challenges I'll be participating in, and DIYs and shop with me trips and Dollar Tree hauls. 
And also don't forget to go through the, pay the playlist and watch the other participants. So to my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong, and have a great day. Bye-bye.